Hi guys, welcome to Nine's Corner. I hope you're feeling wonderful. It is a beautiful fall day here in Canada. So I thought, let's look into the month of October, what's gonna be coming up for this month. I'm gonna do the numerology and then afterwards we'll find somewhere to sit and we'll pull some tarot cards for each week. So I hope you enjoy our little walk around the farm and we'll talk about the month of October. Let's look into October 2021. This month is a sixth month, which is all to do with family, home, responsibility, balance, awareness. But we're doing it in a five year, which is challenging and playful and changeable. And there's such a want for freedom. So you're going to see a want to get together with family and friends, to want to really focus in on the family and balancing out your family life. At the same time, it's going to be challenging. The five can bring for some arguments, some really strong feelings and emotions. That's the October 2021 vibe. Now, there's going to be a new moon as of October 6th and a full moon October 20th. I tell you this because with a new moon, it's great to set your intention, start something new. And when it comes to the full moon, that is a wonderful time to go out and recharge your tarot cards or your crystals or anything that you have. And for me, I always love to go out in the full moon if you want to be a little freaky like me, I dance and I just consider it charging me, charging my emotions, charging my intuition. And I do that for myself for, for you know, and I, I think that you guys would really enjoy it as well. Another thing is to get grounded and focus on home. Now, home being your family, home being, you know, your work family, it can, it can mean so many things, your friend dynamics but it also could mean your actual physical house. So check out your house, make sure everything's okay. If you see a leak, if you see a, a, a structural issue, don't ignore it. This month, it's going to come and bite you in the bum bum. So make sure that you're aware of things. With the month of six being family, there's a community feeling. So during the month of October, you're going to see the two extremes where you're going to see people really riled up and challenging each other and really being passionate to the other end of the spectrum where people will be coming together and they'll be trying to figure out new ways to deal with health issues or economic issues or any of those types of things. Alrighty, I found somewhere to sit and we're going to read the tarot cards for the month of October. What's going to happen during the month of October? First card up, hangman. So for the first week of October, you're gonna see a change in people. They're gonna be wanting to focus in on the family, focus in on um, getting back indoors. That's what happens during the fall. But with the hangman here, this is also saying that you're gonna see situations from a different perspective. So for some, you're gonna just be so grateful and glad that you've gotten through and you're, you're looking forward to Christmas. But for the majority, you're going to be questioning, what am I doing? Am I happy at work? Should I leave my job? Am I happy at home? Should I be with this partner? Should I start something new? There's so many questions here. October is going to be a month of very much passion, passionate thinking, passionate feelings. And hopefully some people change in their minds. I think with COVID, you're going to see more people change in their minds when the numbers are just keep going up and up. For the second week, we've got the Two of Cups. So it fits right with the numerology, the family coming together. The second week, people are going to be looking to get together, have good times, maybe have romantic times with that special somebody. Third week, ooh, Eight of Wands, fast paced, things are going to start getting swirled up. I think this is when you're going to start hearing a lot of news and um, there's going to be a swell of emotion, of passion. This is going to be a time when you have to be careful. This is a time when 
you know, you, even though we're trying to get families back together and it's that it's, you know, the last week's energy was getting back together with family and friends, be careful. This is the week where a five could influence this fluidity of change. This, this quick movement could cause positive and negative. And for the fourth week, we got the 10 of one. So here's some stress going to be going into November. I think because of the eight of wands being quick momentum, things changing quickly, that we're going to see some pressures happening. And I mean, guys, we talked about it in the last couple of months about prices going up, oil prices, um, food prices. I told you a couple of, when it, probably like a month ago uh, when I <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I told you about a we Oh, my God. I'll start again. Um, we talked about it in the last couple of months about prices going up. I told you about the $78 turkey in Newfoundland. Well, my darlings, I went and I saw a turkey price here in Alberta. $74. Like, what? What? So that is one thing I will reiterate again, that you have to be watching um, the prices of things. If there's something that you use a lot that you can stock up on and put away and it won't go bad, do that. Um, and don't forget that this October, because you are talking about the, the time of family numerology, check out your house. Check out foundational things. It's really important just another little thing. So I'll have to run back upstairs. So I'll show you some more farmland and uh, we'll get our candle. I couldn't light it down here because there's just far too much wind, but we have to do the candle. All right, guys. Okay, that's our reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I have our unity candle lit for each and every one of us. Until the next time, cheerio. Take care.